So I'm going to show you how how I do comparative measurement with the image or basically anything really whether it's um, a photo or or from life so using my pencil it, see, as such I'm looking down my arm and my pencil is um, making a vertical line uh, down his face so what I uh, what I'll do usually is start with the bottom of the chin to the bottom of the nose and using my thumb going up and down the shaft of the pencil I'll find uh, the second point, the first point being at the tip of the pencil and then I'll find the second point so there's the bottom of the nose and bottom of the chin so now I'm um, holding that position on the uh, pencil I'll move around and also uh, locking my elbow so um, I don't accidentally move my arm forward or backwards or um, to me or away from me I keep the elbow uh, locked so now I'm moving it around the face uh, usually I go up to the bottom of the nose to see where it falls along um, uh, the brow ridge right here uh, sometimes it's a little bit high sometimes it's low it depends on the person's type and their head angle in this case I think it's pretty close uh, equal distance as it is down here. So bottom of the nose to the top. Yeah, so it's, it's that eyebrow starts right about the same distance. So it looks like the distance between here and here is the same as here and here. And another way I'll use um, uh, this method of comparing different measurements is not just a, a horizontal or a vertical, but a horizontal as well. And I'll, I'll like take a measurement like this and then try to find uh, some points on the um, horizontal side as well. So here we can see where my thumb is, is the side of his face uh, at his uh, temple. And at the tip of the pencil, it touches that far side eyebrow beginning. So now we know where the two points of the eyebrow start. Um, by knowing this distance right here. So that's an example of how to use comparative measuring. And you can do the whole face like that, uh, just finding different distances and how they relate to each other. You can do it at angles. So maybe like, let's see what we can get. Let's take an angle. See that shadow right there? It has like a nice sharp, sharp angle. So I'm going to hold a pencil like that. So maybe, let's see, I'll take it to the outside of the face and about where that eyebrow starts. Okay, and then we'll come down here and see where that lands. So it's somewhere in the, a little bit higher than the middle of the nose. If you come over, it kind of scrapes along the bottom of the eye. So it gives you an idea. So you just go around the head and making different uh, measurements, comparative measurements like that. And it helps to uh, correct your drawing, and or you can just use it to uh, start a drawing. But uh, it's always a good check, and I use it a lot.